our available consciousness is sandwiched between two giant oceans. So, through yoga, through yogic practices, we explore this consciousness. Namaste everyone. Today we, we will explore what is this consciousness, what is it made up of, and how to help it evolve. Simple definition of consciousness is degree of our awareness. Degree to which I am aware, that also means to degree to which I am unaware. How to make our available consciousness go into higher mode, into super consciousness and dive deeper into our subconsciousness. In the words of Swami Vivekananda where he says, the purpose of life is to make this available consciousness to soar higher into the sky of subconsciousness and allow it to dive deeper into subconsciousness, into the ocean of subconsciousness. Somewhere he has also spoken about it where he says, our available consciousness is sandwiched between two giant oceans. So, through yoga, through yogic practices, we explore this consciousness. We play with consciousness. Finally, we have to transcend even the consciousness. Let's see what this consciousness is made up of. In Sanskrit, we call chit. Chit is made up of manas, buddhi, and ahankar. So, consciousness is made up of mind, intellect, and ego. Now, when we explore this further, what becomes of mind as it evolves? what becomes of intellect as it evolves and what becomes of ego as it evolves. When we meditate, especially in the heartfulness way with the help of yogic transmission, with pranahuti, we begin with this idea that my heart is filled with the presence of divinity. Or we begin with this suggestion just before the meditation that my heart is filled with the source of divine presence which is attracting me inwards. So we begin with a mere thought, mere sankalpa, mere suggestion, a prayerful suggestion. Now, if this thought remains a thought, and I go on repeating like a mantra, then I will be too busy with recitation, with thought. Then mind will not go anywhere. It will be busy simply with this thought. It is trapped. It became habitual. It remains trapped in its unconscious, habitual format. It must allow us to feel the presence, the presence that upon which we are meditating. When I am meditating on the presence of divinity in my heart, I must be able to feel the essence of divinity. And what is that essence of divinity? Absolute silence, absolute love. It comes in incremental way. Incremental because there too we need some level of tolerance. We have lost the ability to grasp and feel that ultimate silence, ultimate peace. So, 
the doses of peace and calmness and samadhi-like states that we receive will have to match with our level of tolerance, level of acceptance, level of purity. Greater the purity, greater will be the depth in which we'll be diving. So, as we meditate, we move from the initial thought the thought that there is presence of divinity in my heart and slowly and slowly in the same meditation we begin to feel the presence. So we move from thinking to feeling. Thus we are training our mind to orient more towards the heart. We move from the reactive mind to responsive heart. This journey of moving from reactive mind to responsive heart is unique. We need not wait for years or next life. It has to be experienced here and now. And this is possible because of this yogic transmission Pranamati offered under heartfulness way of meditation. Heartfulness way of meditation through Pranamati helps us soar higher into superconsciousness. Superconsciousness is a feeling. It can be felt. It cannot be thought. I cannot fabricate my thoughts while I am in superconsciousness. You can play with your thoughts in ordinary level of consciousness. Oh, we have a question. What is the purpose of meditation? What am I supposed to achieve in a few months or few years of practice? Through meditation, I think, first of all, we get these glimpses of who we are when we meditate, and especially in a heartfulness way. All our weaknesses come forefront. They get highlighted. And once these weaknesses remain highlighted, you have no other choice but to work on them. You become more aware. Later on, what about the strength? You will not be happy with whatever strength or expertise you have. Through meditation, there is infinite possibility where you say, I have done so well so far, but I like to improve further. Mm-hmm.